<clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve, and this is my all new computer. It's a BitPhoenix Prodigy system with an Asus P8Z77i Deluxe motherboard inside. It, the processor that's on it is an i5-3570K, which I've so far had at 4.9 gigahertz overclocked. <clears throat> which I think is pretty impressive, especially air cooled. Um, that is a Cooler Master Evo 610, I think. I'm not too sure. Don't hold me to that. It's a Cooler Master. I've got an exhaust fan and an intake fan and a top fan that needs cleaning a bit second hand. Is that of another computer? Uh, this here is rigged to this fan here and that one up there because the motherboard has not got enough three pin headers for those two fans. Now over there, right over there is my SSD. Uh, Bitphoenix made a little rack on the side panel for mounting SSDs which is ideal. They've also put two in here don't know if you can see that little gap down there, but you can mount two SSDs down there. You can mount one underneath the drives, and you can mount one in the drive bays in each of them. And if you haven't got a graphics card, you can have this put in there. But because I've got a graphics card, I can't fit it. The graphics card is a Radeon. HD 6850 XFX and it's got a ghost thermal cooler on it which I think is pretty cool um, the power supply is no CZ it's 600 watt power supply um, does the job though they're a little bit squashed I would recommend getting a smaller power supply not wattage but smaller in width and I know they do exist because mine's a bit smaller my old one um, and a non-modular system. The reason I say non-modular is because there's plenty of room in here to store your unused cables and the modules add, uh, give added, yeah, takes up space. It's not really necessary in this. Though that's the only power supply I had around. Uh, the case has some other cool little features. I just remove some stuff up. Pop this off. And look in the top. Um, let me see my filthy fan there. That's a cooler. Um, but yeah, you can fit a radiator up on the top of here. A uh, radiator down there. These are dual 120mm fan radiators. 240 mil, whatever you want to call them. So you can fit one on there, one on there, and you can fit a single 120 mil radiator on the back there. I would say this is one of the most versatile computer cases I've actually come across. Um, wherever something could be fitted, they fitted it. It's as simple as it gets. Now on the back, I've obviously got the input output ports. Um, my Wi-Fi connectors there, which are connected. I don't know if you'll be able to see. And if I tilt it up a little bit, uh, my Wi-Fi aerials there, which I don't actually use. I just stuck in there so that if I do take it anywhere, I can connect it wirelessly. Um, onboard DVI, Display Port, HDMI, um, Spdiff, as I call it, Spdiff. Um, audio output, it's got USB 3 which is ideal, it's got plenty of them um, it's got USB BIOS flashback which yet I haven't experimented with which I will be soon all these USB ports here um, gigabit LAN which is a standard thing on motherboards now so I've got two 500 gigabyte spinners there just for data and storage um, my neon controller. Let's fire it up and see how quick it is. So I've got these uh, two red neons and unfortunately these don't match their blue. But not the end of the world. So let's see. Uh, 
Um, we start that there. Sorry about the flash. There you go, that's 3.7. In fact, on my next video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to overclock this on this motherboard. But that's there. There's the main board. That's the motherboard. P8Z77i Deluxe. But this is my super quick system. It even shuts down in seconds. Um, and not a single problem with it yet. I built it, fired it up, and everything just works. No having to configure anything, it just all works. So the next video I upload will be a small little tutorial on how to overclock. Um, it's going to be a very simple one because I'll have a voltage set for auto because I can't be bothered to tweak with voltages not on a 170 pound processor anyway so there you go i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you got a bit of information about this case if you do have any additional questions simply write a comment and i'll try and answer at some point thanks for watching